Hello and welcome back to another Pick A Card reading. This Pick A Card reading is about the journey ahead, so it could be any situation in your life. We've got three piles here, group one is on the left, two is in the middle and three is on the right. The timestamps will be in the description box below along with the cards that I'm using for this reading. There's also a link to my Facebook page, so if you would like a personal private reading with me, you can contact me on there. I hope you enjoy your reading. Hey group one and welcome to your reading. If you chose the pink banded agate then this one is for you. So this is the journey ahead. It could be about a relationship, a job, anything really. Um, and just the journey ahead for you. So starting out with the past energy we have the princess of swords and the uh, hanged man. So this is really interesting energy. This is, I can see here there's been a lot of maybe epiphanies and realizations for you at this time. Um, it seems like there's a bit of a mental breakthrough here, maybe an opportunity has presented itself to you recently, that could be the case. Either way, there's a lot of um, deep processing and maybe a decision to be made. We've got, um, I feel like this is a, a choice to step up in a way in life, um, in a, maybe a releasing of something so that you can step up, but there's um, there's a real connection to source uh, guidance and your own, um, what do I want to say here, personal sense of power. And I feel like you are making some decisions that will align you with the life that you want. Uh, having a bit more trust in the universe lately, maybe getting a lot of downloads come through, mental breakthroughs, that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, so moving into present energy, we have the Four of Pentacles and the Judgment card. So again, more information, more, more cards, uh, sorry, speaking about a decision that needs to be made or a, um, a choice that you have already made. Um, it could be to do with your own personal power, your finances, a decision that's going to help you build a more solid foundation. Um, Something that protects you potentially, maybe pulling your own resources and, and energy back in could be indicated here. Like you've had a realization about a certain direction, and maybe you're needing to make some adjustments. Um, this is very practical energy. You're very much uh, moving into a more practical approach to whatever it is you're trying to achieve here. Um, I feel like there's a big, a, a big amount of realizations has come in for you about what you want to achieve and how to achieve it. And I feel like your strategy game plan is changing or has changed. Um, you're preserving your energy more. I feel like you're just being a bit more practical, a bit more grounded. Um, so there are a couple of fears in the challenge area with the eight of swords and the nine of wands. Okay, so if you know, you could have been stuck in a cycle for a while here or um, you know, in a situation that perhaps is a bit challenging for you and you've maybe needed to distance yourself from it or like we've seen here, just a choice to be made here to, um, I feel like it may be a bit of, if interrogation is the right word, that's the word that's coming to me, but like in inquiring into whatever this is for you. I feel like you've been really like trying to look at it from every different angle so that you could make the right choice. There could be fears about making a wrong choice. Um, it could be feeling a little battle weary if it's been a um, cycle that's been going around for a while. Um, the challenge for you is to let your guard down and trust that there are good things coming for you and that you can um, defend yourself if that applies. You have strength in your boundaries and you can apply them. You can believe in yourself, you can believe in your boundaries and you can believe in your right to have those boundaries if that is what is the challenge here. Um, you don't need to be fearful of anyone else's expectations or opinions if that is what you are worried about. It's okay to live life on your terms. Um, and yeah, you definitely have what it takes to persevere through this current challenge because it's, I feel once you get over this hurdle, whatever this is for you, it's going to be, it's going to get a lot better. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, this is some sort of last test, if that applies, um, or yeah, it doesn't, I feel like maybe a lot of you have been here before as well, like I said, a repeating cycle, so you know what to do. 
Um, but we'll help. We got the Ace of Cups of Five of Swords. So, um, persevere, I guess. This is a winning at all costs um, card, a victory card. But, it, you know, it says defeat up the top, right? It also can talk about walking away from unnecessary battles, not engaging in drama, making choices that are um, fulfilling to you, um, choosing peace, not war, I guess, if that applies for you. If there's a drama that you don't need to engage in, do not. Um, invest in dysfunction or um, other people's battles. Ace of Cups, spending a bit more time just loving yourself, being a bit more gentle, being a bit more still. You may be being, being called to be a bit more still, meditate, take care of yourself, self-loving practices, um, you know, coming out of the headspace and allowing yourself to feel some of the things that have come up for you as well, letting emotions flow through and processing those emotions, uh, not pushing them away or running from them exactly either. Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, so in the further guidance ahead, we've got perfect Eight of Pentacles reminding you to not worry too much about external. Uh, influences or distractions or opinions or anything outside of what it is you want to create very much like this four of pentacles energy I feel like you're pulling your energy back in so you, you can focus on what is important and what is in front of you maybe that's yourself maybe it's your work maybe it's a specific relationship um, or what you would like in a relationship perhaps as well because we've also got here with this diligence of the Eight of Pentacles, I'm feeling the message here is that with your um, patience and perseverance and showing up and um, just being present with this journey for yourself, being not distracted but focused, you will um, reap the rewards and attract what it is that you desire. We've got the Two of Cups and the Ten of Cups here. So, you know, this could be, um, you know, if it's to do with work, it could be a, a workplace or situation with work that is emotionally fulfilling to you, abundant situations, it could be a, a desired relationship that is equal with the Two of Cups, something that is fair and true union, something that's going to bring long-term emotional fulfillment and happiness. This doesn't have to be relationship-based, it can be all sorts of things, you know, whatever this is about for you. But it shows that with diligence and focus, and not being distracted by drama and anything else that has been pulling on your energy or a focus and just you know really going after what you want i believe that will happen the outcome cards here are the queen of wands uh queen of cups and the queen of wands so we've got two very empowered queens here this could be a connection with you and another a friend or but i do feel for the most part this is your energy and this is you trusting your intuition and backing yourself having a um living life on your own terms your own sense of expression and creativity and your own force but your own gentleness as well i feel like this is a real like leveling up for you um the choices that you're making to be more protective of yourself your energy your resources your, your what goes in what goes out all of that stuff really caring for yourself some real lifestyle changes perhaps personal changes are definitely going to bring you some really great outcomes with these two very powerful queens here at the end I have a couple of oracle cards here as well. We have sadness. <clears throat> when you can truly allow yourself to cry and feel sorrow over the loss of a loved one, a lost opportunity, a broken heart or friendship that's ended, you cleanse your soul and allow your heart to heal. Crying and feeling vulnerable can be a sign of strength which demonstrates your connection to your body. To admit weakness, you can allow, your, allow you to know yourself, embrace your limitations and evolve. Be willing to let go of the cold walls of protection you've created, which make you feel empty and sick. You don't need to get lost in your emotions. Just give yourself time to feel them and let them move through your whole being, cleansing and purifying your body, heart, body and soul. So we did touch on a fair bit of that here with um, you know, letting yourself feel emotions and being perhaps a little bit guarded um, as you move through this process. But I do think good things are coming for you as you get over this 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 particular part. The other two oracles that came out here is the universe has big plans for me and it's time to claim them. <laughs> so especially for those that have gone around this cycle around and around and around, maybe time to jump off. Something new is there for you, it's time to claim it. Um, I let an inner sense of quiet multiply each day as I strengthen my faith in the love of the universe. So that is again coming down to that Eight of Pentacles energy, just being focused on what you want to create, your life, and drawing it in through alignment. 
dedication and just being in love with life. I think that is it there, group one. I'm going to leave it there for you guys, everyone that chose the pink banded agate. I hope that gave some sort of comfort, clarity or guidance and I look forward to reading again soon. Bye group one. Hey group two, welcome to your reading. If you chose the pink um, crystal quartz, yeah, I saw them. Pink quartz heart, this will be your reading group two. And uh, so this is the journey ahead. It could be about work, love, anything. So. Let's jump straight in. We have got, in the past energy, the Nine of Wands and the Prince of Swords. So, some mental breakthrough, potentially. I feel like it's been a bit of struggle for you for a while now. Maybe this, if this is a relationship, it, it's definitely um, had its fair share of challenges. Um, and I do feel like there's been a sudden shift in energy whether it's work, relationship, whatever, it's been a sudden shift in energy and things seem to be moving forward now. There's a bit more clarity, a sense of direction maybe, or just a bit of movement. Um, I feel like there's a lot of determination to make things work or improve on the situation and get out of whatever's been hard. Um, now this could be a really long cycle for you. Other people, this could be just momentarily happening now, but um, yeah, there's definitely been, um, like your path so far has definitely called on you to be extremely strong and resilient to overcome what has been happening. Um, not just now, but in the past, which I feel has um, caused, maybe caused you to be triggered by events that are happening now. Um, I feel like some of these wounds that may have been triggered here have been stemmed, have stemmed back from past trauma or past relationships or um, other situations where you felt like um, maybe even helpless at times or just um, exhausted or overwhelmed. But anyway, things are moving forward. There may be some communication with you and another person. There could be um, making amends or a bit of, um, what, do we, what do we call it? Um, <laughs> what's the word when we make, when we make amends? Uh, resolution. I feel like there could be some resolution here or maybe an apology or a nice gesture with the Prince of Cups. It can be a message coming through to you. You can expect that if that's what you're waiting for. Um, but either way, I see this energy is moving forward. I feel like things are getting a little bit more free-spirited. You're feeling a bit more guided by spirit. You're also aware of all the challenges in your past have given you the strength you need to overcome what you're going through now and in the future. I feel like it's a real need to apply some of the wisdom that you've already got there. I feel like you already do know the answer to a lot of these situations you're in or a lot of the... the I just feel like you need to take a bit more time to sit to... to like separate like to pull away from whatever's going on the, to get a bit of quiet um to meditate and to really connect with yourself because you do know what's going on but either way things are moving forward there's a sense of confidence maybe there's a, a decision to move that could be literal moving as well here i do see a few cards that do really talk about big change big shift things starting to happen things moving forward after maybe a period of stagnant stagnation um Yes, I didn't read the group one's astrology, but this one has got um, Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Leo, Pisces. If anyone is wondering, <laughs> those are the signs here in this reading. So yeah, where are we moving forward? Now the challenge, the challenge we've got the lovers the nine of swords and the temperance so you could be faced with a pretty big life decision that is causing you a lot of anxiety that could be definitely seen here like it could be a relationship a decision based on a relationship or a huge life decision to maybe move away or something like this that you uh, maybe it's got you up at night really worried um lots of things going on in your mind we've got the nine of swords the nine of wands things are challenging for you but at the same time it's like, I, 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 I'm not sure if you see this, but there's a sense of excitement just down the road. <laughs> like, this is happening for you, not to you. If this is overwhelming right now, just know that the choices you're making or the position you're in is so that you can make certain choices that will put you where you need to be. Um, I do feel like even if this is very challenging right now, this is a massive blessing. 
Um, so yeah, here we are. The challenge may be to surrender to what's happening and to just be with it, to be present, to let go. Maybe, maybe the challenge here to find healing and to make choices that are good for you. That may be the challenge here. Maybe you're not ready to let go of certain behaviors or, um, coping mechanisms or, or, you know, whatever it is. And you may be feeling a little bit bound by your own, um, self doubt or, you know, just, yeah, not, not feeling very balanced at times as well. So needing to, I feel like there's some choices that need to be made that really look after you mentally. A bit more slowness, so to slow down, to be a bit more um, peaceful and uh, meditate a bit more is a big, big message for this group. Uh, what will help? We've got the Ten of Wands, the High Priestess and the Two of Swords. So what will help? To connect to your own inner wisdom to be contemplative, to meditate, to take some time out, to quieten, you know, the outside influences and distractions and just sort of take a bit of time out for you. Lighten the load with the Ten of Wands here. You may be carrying a little bit too much mentally, emotionally, other people's stuff, past dramas and hurts, these sorts of things. Um, other people's drama, responsibilities. It could be a number of things, this Ten of Wands. But you're you're being asked to just surrender just for a moment, let that go and take a bit of time to go within, to meditate, to quiet your mind, to enjoy a bit of stillness if you can. Um, to, to just be present with this moment and trust that you have got what it takes to make healthy decisions and that the choices you're making right now will bring you to where you want to be or need to be. Things are moving forward for you. you yeah, you definitely need to go easier on yourself maybe, be a bit softer on yourself and more guidance moving ahead. We've got the death card, so transformation, rebirth, endings, letting things go that do not serve you. Nine of Pentacles, Three of Wands. So becoming a bit more self-sufficient if there has been some codependency to release yourself from that situation, maybe that's the case. But the Nine of Pentacles is talking about being content with what you have, having a lot of gratitude for what you have in life. And the Nine of, uh, sorry, the Three of Wands afterwards is really shows that if you're just focusing on yourself, letting go of the drama, making decisions that you know are going to be healthy for you, that are supportive of your health, of your um, of your financial situation, of your um, resources, everything that you have to offer yourself in the world, to be careful with your resources and careful with yourself. I feel like this is a time for stillness or rest or really just checking back in. And if there's the Three of Wands, we're really talking about waiting for your ships to come in, waiting to see the results from that from these choices and sort of sitting with it. I'm, I'm, there's a very stillness about your your cards here. Yes, things are moving forward. Yes, there's mental breakthrough. Yes, you're in a process right now. Um, and it, you know, I feel like you just need to sit with it and just be with it right now. Uh, and there's a lot that you will gain from this process if you just ride it out or go through it, you know, move through it. <laughs> um, don't push it away. I see a lot of recovery from a situation. It could be a physical health situation. It could be a financial situation, but I see res resolution and recovery here. Um, now the outcome cards we're moving into, the Six of Swords, right? This is a transition. We're leaving behind some baggage with this card. We're moving, we're moving ahead uh, with a lot less, right? We're not carrying things that aren't, not, we're not needed for this journey. We're traveling light is what I mean to say. And so again, this could be an indication of literal travel and movement, but either way, these cards indicate a shift out of where you are now, a movement forward. Um, the Magician and the Sun card, this is very powerful. The choices you're making to move forward are in alignment with your own personal power and what will bring you the greatest amount of growth and happiness with the Sun card and the Magician. You have got all of the resources, all of the wisdom that you need to make a decision or to assert that boundary or to back yourself or whatever it is for you. You've got what it takes. The underlying energy of this reading is the Six of Wands. So we started out with the Nine of Wands. Resilience, the Wounded Warrior energy, moving into public victory, being recognized for your hard work, that sort of energy, right? Celebration and success, resolution and recovery. Um, remembering your power, remembering that you are the manifester of your life and of your dreams. 
and I feel like there's a lot of work here being done on the mental realm to find more peace, to find more acceptance, to release, to let go, surrender and just be. The oracle cards we have for this reading is love. Your heart desires more connections, love and nourishment. You're at a point in your life where you need to learn to how to truly give and receive love. Fully opening your heart will awaken your vulnerability, sensitivity and fear. In particular, your fear of rejection and intimacy with other person. Another person. <laughs> However, you will also unleash your passion, inspiration, greatness, and an ability to care deeply. Start seeing how great life is and be willing to connect with, to others. If you've been holding onto the past pain, then it's time to acknowledge, feel, and move forward. Forgive your, uh, sorry, give yourself permission to let people in. Ask for love with all your heart and soul and it will come. Look for something beautiful in every person you encounter. Focus on feeling good. Whenever you see people loving each other and know this is coming for you in a form of a life of a love of a lifetime or an incredible friendship. So yeah, we can see that definitely here with the Nine of Swords and the Lovers card. If there's been a relationship that has been hard for you to recover from and you know surrender that there is something better out there for you, that may be the case. Um, or in your own connection. If finding healing in that connection and having faith that things will get better if that is the case for you too. Um, so, the other oracle cards we have here is when I'm grateful for what I have, I can feel good along the way to what I desire. So just being here now, that stillness we spoke about, connecting in with this present moment and yourself, you on this journey, being there for you as a friend. Um, I let an inner sense of quiet multiply each day as I strengthen my faith in the love of the universe. More message of surrender and stillness, balance and acceptance, healing and love. A wonderful message for your group too. Fitting that it was the heart shape, right? Only the best for your group too. I'll leave it there. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll look forward to reading again soon. Bye. Hey group three, welcome to your reading. If you chose this tangerine quartz cluster, then this one is for you. All right, group three, we're gonna jump straight into your reading. This one is the journey ahead. So it could be about love, work, whatever, wherever you find yourself. Starting out with the past energy of your reading, we've got the four of cups and the strength card. And first of all, just have a notice of the woman in the picture, her body language. Is that gonna focus properly? Um, she is, her, sh her shoulders are slumped over, she's dissatisfied, she's not happy. So in the past, it shows that you have perhaps come to the completion of something. Um, the, the culmination of a life phase, a job, a relationship, a way of being, a behavior, um, a pattern, something. And you've come to this point where, it's just not giving you the same fulfillment it used to potentially um, it does, whatever this is it's like you've maybe you've tried to hold on to it in your life um, knowing that it doesn't belong there anymore that could be the case for you too there's a real sense of dissatisfied um, energy here where you know this could be an unrequited love situation where you've given it your all and you've just not received the same amount of love that you've put in that could be the case it could be that you've just found yourself you know in a situation life working whatever it is um you know and maybe at the time it was served you and you know you have your reasons for being where you are but it's come to this point where you're not getting what you want out of it you're, it's not fulfilling for you anymore and you've been asking for more you've been asking for more from the universe um yeah i do feel like this a, a decision to let yourself um take a step up or or let go of what you know is a really hard decision to make with this strength card i do feel 
the um, path ahead energy, we've got the Ace of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. This is huge. This is some clarity coming in. Maybe it's an opportunity. Maybe it's some information. Maybe it's a conversation that's had. It's a, maybe it's a decision that's being made to change your life. We've got the Karmic Wheel here with the Wheel of Fortune. We've also got a lot, we've got a lot of wheel imagery in the cards I've noticed here. Um, and we'll, I'll pull them up as we go, I suppose. But... Um, First of all, yeah, you've got some clarity coming in. This is your um, path ahead. So this is where it's at right now, moving ahead. There's a, some sort of decision, some sort of clarity, some sort of breakthrough that lets you make that move, make that decision or see that change come about, whether it's divine intervention or your own doing. Um, you can expect change to happen. You've been asking for it. It's the change you've been asking for. The challenge is the world and the Ten of Swords. The challenge is letting go of the old cycle. The challenge is getting past your underdeveloped self, the self that wants to hang on to that which is comfortable and all that you know, comfort zones, right? Ten of Swords is the ending of something. It could be the, the completion of a relationship, leaving a job, leaving a whole world behind that you once knew. That could be the issue here. Um, something in your life is not serving you and it needs to go. It does not belong in your new world. It does, whatever this is that is, um, I feel like it's you getting in your own way with a certain decision, uh, not allowing yourself self-sabotage potentially. Um, that may be the challenge here. The challenge is to complete that cycle, to let yourself move forward, to have a new world, a new life, um, to call in the, the, what, that which is waiting for you to, to claim it <sighs> what will help the four of wands and the empress this is really nice energy so four of wands you see that what i mean about all this wheel imagery we've got the wheel of fortune the world and now we've got the wheel on the four of wands um this is like cycle cycle cycles okay um, you are in a cycle right now which appears to be coming to an end perhaps it's been coming to an end for a while and you've held on to it that may be the case as well um, but whatever it is it doesn't belong in your future what your future is um, by the looks of this is abundant it is full of good health um, fertility joy creativity did I say abundance <laughs> there's so much here right um, it could be a beautiful marriage and divine union that you're calling in. It could be the pregnancy and having a baby. It could be a new project that you want to start. Um, there's a whole new life just waiting for you to claim it just on the other side of this. Um, so allow yourself to move through the completion of this, of whatever this cycle is, whatever needs to end and claim your place in your life as a beautiful, abundant, fertile being that can create and manifest anything they want. Um, this is a real motherly, nurturing, beautiful card. So this is, you know, connecting with the cycles of life, knowing which cycle you're in, connecting with nature, taking it slow. This is really, really nice. And it's starting to rain now as well. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, what will help? We've got the lovers and the sun. These are big decisions based in growth. All three readings have been pretty similar. I won't be surprised if you were drawn to another group as well here, but the lover's card and the sun card, yes, that can be a union card coming into a union with somebody. Um, uh, but for the most part, I'm going to read this as decisions that are made in alignment with the bigger plan of your life, of, of, with your personal destiny and your personal growth and what's going to bring you happiness. Um, so... It could be that you need to remove yourself or release an old toxic relationship to let yourself love again. Um, that could be the case. Or a, a job that just is not fulfilling. Or, um, yeah, because there's more waiting for you to claim. And it's based in the decisions you make to end cycles and embrace your own growth here with the Sun card. The outcome card of this reading the eight of pentacles magician ten of pentacles how is that so with your devotion and focus prudence it says at the top here your dedication and not being distracted by anything else but your path and what you want to achieve your manifestation we've got the magician now and the ten of pentacles you will you absolutely will create whatever it is whether it's that happy family dynamic whether it's um you know owning a business and, and running it all together with a person that you love or 
you know, qualifying for um, you know, whatever job, we're getting the qualifications and studies that you need, the completion energy, it's dedication, it's showing up to that bigger picture. You, with your dedication and devotion, you will manifest the life that you want. It's, that's what I'm seeing here, it's so good. It's so brilliant. It's, it's all to do with your healthy choices, choices that were based uh, in growth and leaving behind cycles that are painful for you, that are leaving you feeling unfulfilled. So the oracle cards we have here are, I'm sorry if you can't hear me, it's like just started raining so heavily. It's just beautiful. But we've got selling out. Where in life are you selling out or acting out of integrity? Are you in a job you hate? <clears throat> are you living in a toxic environment and making yourself sick in the pursuit of financial security? This card asks you to find the courage to stand up for your convictions and take steps towards doing what you love. Selling out is linked in the shadow aspect of the prostitute archetype. When you connect with this archetype, you can examine your fears around survival, power, responsibility and success. On the light side, the prostitute can lead you to freedom, self-expression, choice and love. Absolutely. And the other oracle card we have here is my true safety lies in the capacity to align with the love of the universe. So yeah, just trusting, making choices that are in alignment with good, good health for you, the life that you want. No distractions, just creating your dream, co-creating your dream with the universe by aligning with love. I love it. It's awesome group three. That was it, I wrote for, I'm going to leave it there for everyone that chose the tangerine chords. I hope you can hear me with all this rain that's just come in at the end there. <sighs> it's beautiful. Have a nice week, Group 3, and I look forward to reading again soon.